rules-based world order. Now, that's one of the many things that China does not understand. Aggression, provocation. Now, these are Chinese mantras. Let me tell you what China has been up to. Chinese fighter planes have fired flares towards an Australian Navy helicopter. This happened on Saturday. Australian Navy's MH-60R Seahawk helicopter was flying over the Yellow Sea. The chopper was flying in international airspace over international waters. It was operating from the destroyer HMAS Hobart and was part of Operation Argos. What's that? It's part of the United Nations efforts to enforce sanctions on North Korea. That is when a Chinese Air Force J-10 jet dropped flares above the helicopter. It also dropped flares on the helicopter's parts. Australia's Defence Minister Richard Miles said the Chinese jet, quote-unquote, dropped flares about 300 metres in front of the Seahawk helicopter and about 60 metres above it. Miles added this was an unsafe manoeuvre which posed a risk to the aircraft and the personnel. Australian Prime Minister, meanwhile, calling the Chinese conduct completely unacceptable. You see, if a flare hits an aircraft, be it a fighter jet or a helicopter, the machine can be damaged. If the flare hits the rotor blades of a helicopter, the chopper can go down. If it hits the engine, there can be a mid-air blast. That's the kind of danger we are looking at. And that's the level of danger the Chinese were toying with in international airspace. Australia says its pilot was forced to quote-unquote take evasive actions in order to not be hit by those flares. So why did China do what it did? The Chinese Foreign Ministry has an explanation, if that is what you would want to call it. Let me read it out for you. That's what the Foreign Ministry spokesperson Lin Jian has said. I'm quoting now. Under the guise of implementing United Nations Security Council resolutions, Australian warships and aircraft deliberately approached China's airspace to cause trouble and provocation, endangering China's maritime and air security. As a warning, the Chinese military took necessary measures at the scene. Relevant operations are legal, compliant, professional and safe. Let me repeat that. China says its actions were legal, compliant, professional, and safe. Dropping flares is legal and safe. As per which book exactly? But this is the kind of dangerous maneuver that China thrives in. Last year, a Chinese warplane fired flares in front of a Canadian military helicopter. It happened over the international waters of the South China Sea. Canadian Armed Forces said there was a risk posed to the helicopter as the flares could have hit the rotor blades or the engines. Canada called the Chinese action unsafe, non-standard and unprofessional. But this, you see, is classic China. In the year 2022, a Chinese Navy vessel pointed a laser at an Australian military aircraft. This happened close to Australia's north coast. The same year, a Chinese fighter jet dangerously intercepted an Australian military surveillance plane. This happened over the South China Sea. In November 2023, a Chinese destroyer injured Australian Navy divers. This happened in Japanese waters. Canberra claims Chinese destroyer deliberately blasted the Australian divers with sonar pulses. Beijing obviously denies the allegations as it continues gathering enemies through its actions. Did you know that the Chinese have allegedly hacked the British Ministry of Defence? The personal information of UK's military personnel has been hacked and all fingers are pointing at China. Here's what happened. A third-party payroll system that the British Ministry of Defence uses was hacked. The system had names of current and past members of the British Armed Forces. It had their bank details, their residential address. Hackers accessed most of this information. The cyber attack was discovered some days ago. Authorities are trying to figure out the extent of the attack. While the UK has not named any country, the disclosure comes on the heels of what happened in the month of March. 
In a first, the UK and the US jointly accused China of a global cyber attack campaign. And as expect expected, China is trying to distance itself from the issue. The Chinese foreign ministry, in fact, says it quote-unquote rejects the use of this issue politically to smear other countries. You see, by now the world can see through these statements. It has observed the pattern of Chinese aggression, its habit of breaking international laws, coming in the way of freedom of navigation. With its actions, China is only gathering more enemies. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.